Hey, it's Buck. We're back. Today we're going to do another gear review on sleeping bags. Not so much the sleeping bag itself, but we're going to talk about the temperature rating that all of these bags seem to have that does and does not work. Uh, so today we're at the Gear Revival in downtown Atlanta. A couple of buddies of mine own and operate the shop. It's a fantastic place to come. A little pitch here for the store. They've got backpacks, they've got sleeping bags, they've got books and canteens and kayaks and bikes and everything for your outdoor needs they have here at the Gear Revival. It's also nice because it's only a couple blocks from my house. So back to the subject at hand. Temperature ratings on sleeping bags. For years, I have not technically been able to to select my own uh, sleeping bag. When I was a kid, I was given a sleeping bag by my parents, and when I was in the military, you were issued a sleeping bag that uh, you had to use regardless. So it wasn't until we got out of the military that we then were able to purchase our own bags. We come into a store, we go to some store, we look at the bag, we see some kind of a temperature rating on it, we're like 15 degrees, that's the one that I've got. Where we're going, it's only going to get down to 20 degrees and I'll be fine. Well, then you get out there and you freeze to death and you can't figure out what the hell did I do wrong? This sleeping bag is supposed to protect me. Well, so after some research and after many years of griping, actually after many years of griping and then some research, we determined that the temperature rating technically is a guideline and the temperature rating of sleeping bags is the survival temperature. So you'll survive in the sleeping bag down to 15 degrees. You might be suffering from hypothermia, you're freezing your butt off, but you'll technically survive. Well, I don't like to just survive. So we're going to cover a couple sleeping bags. The old slumber bag, square, rectangular, when you zip it up, zipper on three sides. They're great because you can fold them up, keep them in a, in a drawer at your house, and use them when the relatives come over. Great for the basement, but not exactly practical for the outdoors. Uh, along came the mummy bag. Mummy bag is shaped like more like the mummy figurine. It's tapered, uh, less surface area. It allows you to retain more heat. Um, I'm not going to get into the great specifics of it because you know the, I mean the major differences are the material that they use on the outside, the material, the fill that they use on the inside. There's synthetic and there's down. That's all I know. That's all I care about. I'm the type of guy who isn't trying to, isn't worrying about shaving ounces off my, my pack when I go camping. It's how much extra stuff can we take? How many extra cases of beer? How many extra cases of ammunition? Um, heaters and gloves and helmets and yeah. I'm not worried about a couple, in, a couple ounces. So my priority these days is to stay warm and stay comfortable. So you've got a mummy bag. <clears throat> zipper along one side. The temperature ratings are typically, they have ratings of 40 degrees, 25 degrees, 15 degrees, and zero degrees. Well, how do you decide which one to buy? Well, we've come up with our own formula on how to buy a sleeping bag that will keep you comfortable, not survivable. So what we did was we, we surveyed a couple bags and we came up with our own little formula it said, if you're going somewhere and it's 15 degrees, it's going to be, the expected low is going to be 15 degrees where you're sleeping. A 15 degree bag is not going to cut it. What you need to plan is you need to plan to, you need to plan that it's going to be 15 to 20 degrees. Uh, you need to plan for 15 or 20 degrees below that. So we need to add up a couple temperatures. We're going to take 15 degrees here with our bag. We're going to give you five degrees with a sleeping pad. So, so if it's going to be 15 degrees, we need to plan that we want to be comfortable at like zero degrees or minus five. You got a 15 degree bag. I'll give you five degrees for a good, thick, foamy, air-filled mattress. That'll save you about five degrees. Also going to give you, in our formula, we give you five to ten points on sleeping in some form of a structure, whether it's a tent, or a cabin, uh, a non-heated cabin of those sorts, that'll give you probably five degrees. If you're sleeping in a small structure with more than two people, or two people or more, 
you know, that's worth probably 5 to 10 degrees. More people in there, a little bit more body heat, you'll stay a little bit warmer. And then last, it's what, what activity do you do before you get into the bag and what are you wearing? I, because I like to stay warm and comfortable, like to sleep in some really good base layers. I like to wear merino wool, a thin layer on the bottom, a thin layer on top, a t-shirt and some long john bottoms. And I like to uh, walk or lightly jog around the camp four or five, ten times, get a little bit of blood movement, a little circulation, get the, it, uh, a little bit of perspiration going, just a tiny bit, jump in the bag, and then you stay warm. That's our formula. It's going to be 15 degrees. You can either use a zero degree bag and you should be pretty good, or you can use a 15 degree bag and you need to add a couple layers to that. Sleeping pad, a tent, sleeping next to a couple guys, or better yet, get a heater. So, again, um, this is just to clear up the black magic of the sleeping bag ratings. I'm not trying to say that that Western mountaineering bags are better than Marmont or better than Nemo. That's not me. I have two bags. One's a Nemo bag. One's a Marmont bag. I love them both, but one is for minus 10 degrees and one's for 15 degrees. If it's going to be 40 degrees, I take the 15 degree bag and I might unzip it. I like to be comfortable. So, again, I'm not worried about weight. I hope that helps clear up a few things the black magic of sleeping bag ratings, and I look forward to seeing you soon on the next gear review. If you got any questions, send me an email. Thanks.